Yes, shalom everyone. This is Amir Tzarfati live from Galilee. I, the internet is not good for so many reasons. I'm going to try again. I'm trying again to uh, broadcast from the backyard and you're going to hear a lot of F-16s taking off and landing. Guys, uh, these are breaking news. Israel is under attack from Iran right now. Nearly 100 suicide drones are on the way to Israel. It takes hours to fly from Iran to to Israel. And um, we are uh, expecting the first uh, drones to uh, arrive around five hours from now. So. So the Israelis have time to prepare. But um, let me run you through everything, okay? First of all, the Iranians made a big mistake. They actually launched whatever they wanted to launch from their own soil. This is their way to say you attacked an embassy which is considered our soil we will attack yours. Um, second, uh, we know that Iran closed its airspace for 10 days. They just announced 10 days, which means they understand uh, that this is not going to be a few hours deal. They understand that there's a good chance Israel will have to respond. By the way, I'm extremely extremely satisfied and happy and I tell you why because it's time to deal with the head of the snake okay so now Israel's airspace will be closed soon at 1 a.m. which is close you know three hours before the the, the drones will arrive um, Jordan's airspace is already closed Therefore, passenger planes that were flying from Dubai to Israel via Jordan had to turn around and fly back. The Israeli Prime Minister's plane, Zion's Wing, that's the name of our Air Force One, took off. It took off from its base in the southern part of Israel in case the base will be attacked. We really don't want that plane to get uh, damaged. So for the first time, uh, the Air Force One of Israel is now flying in the air rather than, and it's empty without any official in it. Uh, but that's, of course, to protect it from getting damaged and hurt or destroyed. We in Israel, <clears throat> we're not afraid because we have uh, multi layers of defense that no other country around us. Uh, has we were talking about short range mid medium long range we have laser we have uh, uh, capabilities from the sea from the air from the ground we are able to take down those drones make no mistake and not only that we're able, these are big drones because drones that are that have to fly thousands of kilometers are cannot be small ones they have to carry a lot of fuel and a payload of explosives so they have to be big and once they're big they can be easily detected so the israeli air force is now scrambling we are estimating uh roughly 50 uh, fighter jets that will have to engage in in this thing and the reason why i'm saying 50 is because we have other things that we're doing right now. We're attacking in southern Lebanon, Hezbollah outpost. We're attacking in Gaza, Hamas outpost. And now we're dealing with this threat as well. So um, we do not want all of our air force to be focusing only on one thing. We have a lot to do. Again, we're estimating around 100 drones that have been already detected as they were launched and seen by people over Iraq already. Uh, by the way, if you are not um, on Telegram, you're missing the whole thing. I've been, I've been reporting on this for a couple hours now with videos, with maps, with facts, with everything. The Prime Minister 
of Israel. The minute we knew that the, the drones were already on the way, he uh, appeared on TV and said that Israel is ready and we will know how to not only defend ourselves but also uh, strike back. Israel is, of course, enjoying international support, and that is not because they love the Jews so much as they are afraid of the prices of oil to uh, skyrocket and the Middle East to turn into uh, the beginning of World War III, and, and that, of course, will hurt economies around the world. So, basically, folks, the U.S. president cut short his, his uh, vacation, came back to the White House. Um, the prime minister and his cabinet in Israel are meeting not above the ground, where they're meeting right now under the ground in a secret um, headquarters uh, that is under the ground in Tel Aviv. The ministers were informed that it's not going to be in the regular conference room of the Prime Minister's office in Tel Aviv, but it's going to be this time under the ground. Um, the Israeli uh, public was informed that uh, starting from tomorrow morning, uh, there will be no uh, activities outdoors for uh, the uh, education uh, sector. So there is, there's no camps for Passover, there's no school, there's no kindergarten, and there's not, no uh, field trips in the country. All the beaches along the Mediterranean and around the Sea of Galilee, as well as the Red Sea, were closed. No one can even go to the beaches. And all of that is in order for no one to get hurt in case one of those drones manages to penetrate the Israeli defense, air defense system and explode somewhere. Um, so basically, again, Israel is under attack, but it's funny because we're, <laughs> so here we are, we know that there's about 100 explosive drones on their way. They're flying right now. I mean, for, for the next few hours, they'll be flying towards us. So we all know about them. They're flying. They, they sound weird. If you go to my telegram, you'll see how weird the sound of them. I mean, we, we can see videos of them flying. We can hear them flying. They're much slower than a, than a jet, and it takes for, you know, a passenger jet a few hours to fly. So you can imagine how, how much longer it will take to these. So those drones are on their way. Um, based on the Israeli response, I believe that the Iranians will uh, up their game and, and maybe add to it cruise missiles, ballistic missiles, and if... So they might even order Hezbollah and their militias in Iran, in Iraq and Syria to also engage. The U.S. Uh, has uh, the Cape. The U.S. alone has enough aircrafts here and enough uh, power here in the Middle East that is 10 times the power of Iran. I'm not even talking about Israel. I'm talking about just the U.S. forces in the area. So the Iranians understand that they're taking a risk here, they're gambling, and uh, in case something is going to happen and strategic uh, military installations are going to get hurt or attacked, Israel is definitely going to um, use the opportunity, seize the moment, which is, if you go to my telegram, I wrote a short message on why it is actually the best thing. Finally, we can address the head of the snake and do something. We have all the legitimacy to do so. So, um, and we have the international uh, support on, on, you know, with us right now, because everybody understands, you know, it's easy to fall into the trap of feeling sorry for the Palestinians. And so give them food, give them aid, give them this, give them that. But, but everybody understands when it comes to the Ayatollahs, you know, this is not something. Okay, so what you're going to hear shortly is not only takeoffs, but also landings of those that took off, early, uh, you know, a few minutes ago. And um, this is it, folks. Israel is under attack, but 
<laughs> Again, why am I outside? Why can I just, uh, you know, do this right now, this video? And why am I not locked up in a bomb shelter? Because the uh, UAVs took off a couple hours ago and it takes at least five more hours to reach this place. So we are estimating again 4 a.m. the time for the first ones to arrive. But again, we're aiming, our entire family is going to stay up all night, of course. I think every family in Israel is going to stay up, up all night. But our, uh, we're aiming to shoot down those drones, not in Israel, but outside. So uh, the aim is to, of course, to do it. Um, again, as I said, Israel is considering few options. One of the options I read about today is uh, electromagnetic uh, weapon to be used above Iran and to seize the moment to go after their nuclear sites, which are at least 15 sites, uh, of which five are critical for their program. Iran has enough uranium for bombs, for at least 10 bombs already. It's not, we passed that one. They, they already have the uh, uranium. They haven't assembled the bomb yet. And you can imagine, look, you can imagine what would this video be if Iran was already in nuclear power? What would the world look like if now it's a nuclear Iran? Nobody can accept that. So um, this is what we're about to do. Um, again, Israel has all of its military on its highest alert. You missed the takeoff of at least 20 to 30 F-16s when I was having the first attempt to go live. Um, in a few minutes, some of them will return. They're patrolling because, again, their job is to detect those UAVs and destroy them and shoot them down before they even enter Israel. Um, the Israeli cabinet is convening in an hour. Again, <laughs> it sounds like we're taking our time. Yeah, those F-16s are returning back to base. It sounds like we're taking our time. Like, why would you convene in an hour, an hour and a half? But it's because, again, there's a hundred drones on their way to Israel, and it'll take them five more hours to go uh, to arrive, and and that's it. I don't know if you can hear. But they're coming back to the base right now. So this is the situation right now. We're under attack, but it's not yet here. Um, the nature of the Israeli response will determine if our enemies will try to gain or learn their lesson. If we will do nothing, and by the way, this is where I'm a little bit afraid that America will push us to do the wrong thing. The Americans don't want us to retaliate. They, they didn't even want us to go into Gaza. And I don't think any sovereign country can accept the fact that a country that has no border with it even uh, launches 100 suicide drones in uh, aiming at its uh, military bases. It's unacceptable. I think Israel has to be very strongly uh, standing on the firm right to strike back and to make sure the Ayatollahs pay for it. So it's going to be an interesting night, more so an interesting week ahead of us. Again, the Iranians kind of anticipated that it's going to take time. They issued a NOTAM, uh, which is a no-flight um, um, zone announcement to pilots and, and, and airlines. And they actually issued it from the 13th of April today to the 23rd of April. They, they already understand that there's a, it's going to be a 10 days of 
possible exchange of uh, fire and the airspace of Iran is closed basically. Israel is closing its airspace within an hour and a half. Jordan already closed its airspace. Um, again, all the beaches are closed. The Israeli uh, public is ordered not to gather more than a thousand people in within the country and not to gather at all when you're close to Lebanon and Gaza. And uh, the education system uh, canceled all activities tomorrow. So all kids are staying home. And uh, so the Ayatollahs have to deal with angry moms in Israel. But anyway, look, I'm, I'm encouraged. I'm not afraid. I'm not depressed. I'm actually, I mean, to, to be honest, finally, we have a chance to deal with the Ayatollahs. And I think that this is historic. I think that this is, it has never happened before. I mean, I, I don't remember when Iran directly sent anything towards Israel. And so this is our chance to do what we need to do. And I truly hope and pray that our leaders will not do the wrong thing and will do the right thing. A lot is at stake right now. So we need your prayers. Of course, we do need your prayers. But if I come across panicky or stressful, not at all. We are, we feel great. Um, and again, Iran is no longer is watching from the side. Iran is no longer in a peanut gallery. Iran is no longer a spectator that is just uh, enjoying the fight. But, you know, Iran is now a player and an active one. And Iran has to uh, pay and also get hit as part of the game. So pray for Prime Minister Netanyahu for wisdom. Pray for the cabinet and for the military for wisdom and for protection. Pray that we will not succumb to any pressure not to retaliate. And pray that the nation of Israel will unite. These inner divisions are just the thing that the enemy wants. And I don't think we can afford one now. So. Yeah, um, I might not have internet. Uh, there's extreme GPS disruptions uh, all around. Um, in fact, uh, all Arab countries around us, whether it's Syria and Lebanon, <clears throat> Iraq, Iran, and Egypt, they all report serious disruption of GPS. And so they, they, they can hardly fly. There will be maybe serious disruption with also um, satellite signals or and maybe even internet so you know i i am on telegram telegram is my go-to platform and if you want to know what is going on this is where you need to be elsewhere i cannot say things because i'm being censored and it's not going to happen um so yeah in one hour the airspace of israel will be completely sealed up and anything that flies that is not an Israeli fighter jet or helicopter will be shut down. So if you're planning on flying your airplane to Israel in the near few, next few hours, just as I'm going to say it like Biden does, don't. Look, uh, again, pray for us. We need prayers, but we also, again, we need the world to let us do what we need to do and what we have to do. This is the Middle East and uh, you cannot show weakness. You cannot project that you are okay with a hundred drones flying towards you. There is no such thing. So uh, I pray that uh, the leaders will do the right thing. And uh, personally, I mean, our family would love prayers because uh, as of tomorrow, we might have three family members in active duty. So we, we, need, um, we need prayer as well. All right. So thank you. Have a great Sunday tomorrow, all of you. While, while you sleep at night, 
or while you're about to go to sleep in America, uh, those UAVs are supposed to arrive here. Again, it's f uh, we're talking about 4 a.m., anything between 4 and 5. They've been flying a few hours already. So I'll keep you posted. Again, I hope there will be internet to be able to do that. But Telegram is where you need to be. Download Telegram. Find my channel. I have over half a million subscribers. It's very easy. Amir Tsafati or the name of the channel is Behold Israel Channel. One word. Go. I'll see you there in a few minutes. And I'll continue to update you there. And please press the share button right now. And pray for.